What's good? It's your boy, His Will, and I'm back with another podcast episode. And this episode, we're going to be talking about Alice in Borderland. Now, Alice in Borderland was a Netflix movie that was released. Um, it takes place in Tokyo. Um, and it all happens basically in Tokyo, downtown Tokyo. So if there was a couple of movies, there's one movie in the eighties that came out and it was, um, I cannot think of the name at all. Maybe I'll have it somewhere down here in the editing process or something. I'll do something. Um, but the movie basically when they hid out in the bomb shelter, woke up, nobody was there. And then some t- and everybody had turned into I don't know zombies or something or disappeared or something happened and they had the whole place they self they woke up in a the movie theater blah 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 but this one takes place in Tokyo is three buddies but which two of them are brothers and the other one's one of the best friends so um, of course they're best friends and they started in downtown Tokyo it was a heck of people out there so you know it's packed you know if you see all the time in the movies you see crowds and crowds and crowds of people walking around downtown in tokyo and you get to see all that um see everything that uh all the people down there walking across the cross raw you know it has the big jumbotrons like they do in new york um that was all going on so what they did was they were you know, he put one of the guys put his brother on his neck and was spinning him around and having the camera and doing all this, that, and the other, and blah, 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 having a fun time. But he was doing all this in the middle of the street while people were walking. And so what happened was, um, you know, he did something, fall or something. And, they, oh, no, we're in the middle of the street. So they got to run and they cause an accident, like, oh, no. And the police start coming out. So they got to run. So they ran into like the uh, subway station and ran into the bathroom and hid in the stall in the bathroom stall. And so what happened was they hid in there and then uh, they were like, oh, no, what's going on? It was hiding. They hear people rustling around outside, you know, people using the bathroom, doing what they do. And then what happened was uh, they saw now before they went in, they were seeing these. Um, it was like 4th of July, they saw it was like some fireworks happened or something like that was going on outside. And then so the lights went out, the lights go off and um, they're in the bathroom. Hey, what, what happened? So they were like, hey, what's going on? Let me check it out. And they look in. So they go out and look out. Um, nobody's in the bathroom. You think, OK, normal. Do you go outside? Ain't nobody there. I mean, nobody. It is completely empty and there's literally nothing I mean people it was cra- it was almost like um, that Kirk Cameron movie too and everybody was uh, on revelations they just left literally because it was people food still hot in the middle in the mall and the restaurants and it was just people was gone and you're like what is going on and so they walking around looking trying to see what's going on Of course the phones ain't working. Um, Of course the phones ain't working because you know, when do the phones ever work when something like that happens? And so they're going and they're looking um, around trying to find what's going on, like dang. And so they stumble across this building, they go in and um, they're like, what's going on here? They see like three phones or four phones and they're like, what? What is this? And and they're like, what in the heck is going on here? And so they end up in the room, um, and uh, the phones. It says a recording comes over, and it says, "Hey, uh, you are now in such and such. This is the game. Um, this is." You got to do such and such. Here's a game. They give you like a riddle. And this is the, I don't know, one of diamonds. Uh, level of difficulty was like four or five of diamonds. What are Whatever it is. And you know, the higher the higher it goes, the higher, you know, the difficulty. We'll explain that in a little bit. Um, 
So another lady comes in and they're doing this and that. And they're just like, hey, what's going on? They're like, look, you can't leave. You can't go outside because such and such will happen. And they're like, what? And so they're forced to play this game. I'm not going to get all the little details, you know, everything. This is just the first episode. It's about eight episodes. And so they're now, if y'all thinking, before I, before I uh, continue, if y'all thinking this is your normal Alice in Wonderland, uh, and you see and you see the Mad Hatter and all these rabbits and these weird characters and stuff like that. Um, you will see some weird characters, but you won't see no. It ain't no Mad Hatter type things. This this Mad Hatter, if you will. I'll let you decide. I'll let you see that. I don't want to spoil it. Uh, so the Mad Hatter, whoever that person may be, as uh, yeah, you could consider that particular person the Mad Hatter. Now that I look back on it. Um, and so it's really... From there, they started playing the game. So they were playing the game. And you know, there's always one straggler. Something got to happen to somebody just to get the game and, or the movie and stuff popping, popping off. And this particular thing, there was like four. So it's them three, another woman... Um, and two other women and so they're in this room and blah 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 um so they're like man they're like you have what three minutes to get out of this room before it basically catches on fire you got to pick the right door now one of them which is the brother he's a gamer and they're always talking about you know he's playing these games blah, blah, blah. why do you get him to get a job blah 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 be like your brother blah 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 well, this is where his gaming skills come into um, play. And he actually, um, he's like, man, what's happening? So they pick one door, because they're trying to get the door first. So the, the one of the girls runs through the door. <clears throat> Later, a, le a laser shoots right down, boom. The top of their head, straight down, kills her instantly. Done. So they got to pick the other door, get through there, the, the room bursts in flames. Um, now you have such and such. In each room they go to, they get a smaller time. So what the gamer does, he notices a couple of things. Like you're on this floor. He notices the map and how old oh, this room is, this blah, 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 blah. And it kind of flashbacks on what he noticed stuff. And so he starts writing. He drew a little diagram and like, we're in this room. So if it's this room, it's going to be the opposite door. And one of the doors is good and evil or something like that. And so you got to pick the right one. Pick the wrong one, that laser going to come down. Also, if you go outside of the game, um, the parameter of the game. So if you go in, the game starts, you can't turn around and walk back out like, I ain't about to play this, I'm out. Because from somewhere, lasers will come down, straight down, and kill you instantly. So if you say you don't want to play no more, or I'm done with this, boom, it's done. So, you know, they do that, you know, and they get through that, and they end up getting through fairly unscathed the best friend he actually gets burned you know because they dove through the door last second so it caught his leg lit on fire and so they have to tend to him and do all this so they get him together then have to play these games one of the games that to look out for which is i definitely wouldn't want to be in this type of situation is any game that has to do with hearts because when you have a game with hearts that is a game that has to do with you and your loved ones. So you, you want to be with some strangers or something. Even still, it's kind of crazy. Because it's going to test you on basically who's going to meet their demise. And or you're going to sacrifice yourself. So you have to depend and you have to figure that out. And when you see that particular episode with that scene, you'll understand. It was a very... Yeah, it was a, it was a trip. And, and he... You can see what happened to one of the main characters after that game and see what happened to him if it hadn't been for this other chick that's popping up. So then, you know, they're so going through these games, getting through that and getting through that. That game happens and then they start banding together with some other people. And he's like, you know, we got to figure out how to get out of here. Is it like this all over the place? And so you start seeing other people. And there's a place called Paradise, which is basically a hotel that another thing that happens in these movies all the time and it goes back to like lord of the flies or any other type of movie 
or show that when somebody's stranded somewhere and it's a lot of people, there's always people that rise to the top and they're ruling everything and they have some type of even from the walking dead they got these little encampments and places and stuff like that and uh so it's like man and another thing with the games you buy as you win the game you buy time so you have a few days to pass up a few games you don't have to play but you have to do it before your visa wears out and your visa is basically your game piece the time to keeping you alive otherwise the laser come down and destroy you and so you have a couple of time a couple of days to get it to do what you do to explore whatever you got to do and then you got to go and play a game and boy some of these games boy that is crazy sadistic sick like some crazy games so you have to you know and it goes back if you're looking at movies like the saw um there's several movies that have that game show type um it's the game show uh it's the game show uh, type games that you play and you gotta get out and you know those type of movies that have all that stuff. You do wrong, something happens, you lose a limb or you get, something happens. It's just, you know how that is. Um, so what you have to do is, you gotta be smarter, you gotta be, man, you gotta trust each other. You playing with people. So these are people that was random, coming from all over the place. Uh, from stuff but I did notice a theme it seems to me like some people that were being brought did something bad or something in their life to where they were chosen I guess and kept here so but I won't go into the back stories you'll you'll you will see all that once you watch the show um but it was a it was definitely a uh it was definitely a good show um I just it, it, put it this way: it's going to have to be a part, a season two. Um, but anywho, um, so like I was saying with the encampments, you know, the people, the paradise, and so there's there's set up in these certain groups, and and some of the people had like these wrist wears and stuff, something that they put on the wrist. I thought it was something for like maybe some people had went through the prison or something like that and did something. Um, and hold on for a second. So yeah, um, and so you see that it's it's like one of those only the strong survive. But then again, you gotta have brains and brawn because some of the games you have to use your head. Yeah, they'll help with you fighting and stuff and doing. It was some wild man. I'm talking about wild animals and beasts. I'm like. Bruh, you would have had to take me to Walmart because I'd have to give me some new draws because it was too much going on. I was scared just watching it. And so um, um, so what happened was, you know, they meet up with other people. So you have the witty, the cunning that just, you know, they're just people. They're just people persons and people persons have that influence, you know, to be a good uh, to be a good leader. And, and, you know, they win the minds, you know. And so, uh, and they win the minds of people. And um, and people just follow them. That's just a natural quality some people have. So this is what was happening. And he had the people, like it was a crew, the strong, no take, no mess. And they were like security. And so there was people at the hotel it was called paradise because you could do whatever you want to do they was all around the pool having a good time it was food and you know they had gas they was driving cars because of course all the cars stopped working but not the old cars that didn't have all that technology see that's why you want to keep your car that don't run on all that electric so if something happened like an emp device or something when the cars go out the electrical systems you still got that old good old american muscle you feel me and so uh you do that and then um they meet up with them go up in there and then they're trying to link up with some people that's within the group and it was just kind of like a you know they was double crossing and oh, it was just a lot of scandalous stuff going on in that particular when they met up with them because they were trying to find out they thought that was like a way out and i'm not going to tell you what's going to be going on after that but that was 
be, that paradise place became a um, game, so to speak. So, and then from then on, you guys are gonna have to watch that because I don't want to give you no more of that. But it was really good. Um, it was it was real good. Um, I really did appreciate one thing about Netflix. They are. They be putting out some heat. I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. They've been putting out some heat. And and what I like is some of these uh these foreign films, especially in the horror genre. We already know action movies is gonna is gonna get you there. Um, but in the horror genres and stuff, boy, they be having some good movie and the. The production value of these movies and shows are off the chain. It's like when you watch them, you ready to go and keep watching more. And that's what several other shows on, uh, you know, Netflix. Because sometimes you just want to watch a movie and straight through. But some of these be episodes and you just can't put it down. Um, like, for instance, there's a movie that I'm watching. Um, it's called, uh, I mean, not, it's not a movie, but it's a, uh, it's a show and it is let me see if i can let you, i wonder if i can find it give me oh it was called manhunt da manhunt daily uh deadly games that's another good show it's good he's like what's what's gonna go on what's gonna happen so you know you got all that um um there's another movie that came out that i wanted to kind of touch on it was called uh sweet home and uh, Sweet Home was a movie that was basically, it's another one of those, horror, it dealt with like, it, it dealt with like uh, monsters and stuff like that. So it, it took place in a um, kind of like a slum village, slum hotel apartment complex type thing, you know. And what happens is this dude, his name is Chayun Su, and he moves into one of these little slum places, right? Um, and they're called like the Green Home, uh, the Green Green Home uh, projects or whatnot. But I'll talk about that on the next episode. Um, so I will check y'all out and we'll get onto that. So I just want to give a little teaser on that, but uh, make sure y'all tune in. We're going to, we'll be back with another um, podcast and we'll be talking about the sweet home. So like I always say, y'all, it's peace and more hair grease. You dig? Ooh -wee. And I'm out like a sprout. No doubt. My healer, my provider, my comforter, you're all I need. Oh. For your love, Jesus died for you, paid the price for 